in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you what is currently on my candle wish list. And before I share the items that are actually on that list, I'm going to share with you my reasons why I keep a list. Yes, I just mentioned the word list three times in like the last 10 seconds. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I love to talk about all things candles here, new launches, releases, um, empties, dedicated reviews, anything having to do with candles. I love to talk about it here on this channel. So if you find yourself wanting to stick around for more candle content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button before we get on out of here. Now, before I dive into what is on the list, I am going to share with you um, a couple of reasons why I was motivated to start doing this, to start um, putting together a wish list. And um, if you're not interested in those reasons, that's totally fine. I will have timestamps in the description box down below of all of the candles that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, and I will also have any kind of affiliate codes that I have with various brands. Those will all be in the description box down below. But I have found that creating a wish list is the number one way that I avoid impulse buying, which let's be honest, I feel like I've been seeing a theme, not even just in the candle community, but across the board of a lot of people just wanting to be more intentional with their spending habits as we have started the year 2024. I know I'm on board with that. And um, I thought that this video might be a little bit helpful for some of you who maybe are finding yourself I don't know, on the same boat. I feel like there's enough of us now that like we're not on a boat, we're on a ship here. We're on we're on that new like icon of the seas from Royal Caribbean, that huge ship. That's what we're all on because it feels like there's a lot of people feeling this way. So I'm gonna share with you my reasons why I create a wish list. Yes, it helps me avoid impulse buying um, and these are the reasons why. Number one, it helps me to stay on budget. Now, if you've been with my channel even just for the last few weeks, you guys know that I think like in the last two and a half weeks, I have done two videos specifically covering new launches over at Kringle. And spoiler alert, I'm not done with those yet. Uh, there's gonna be another one coming up this week. I will have that video posted on Wednesday for you guys where we're gonna be going over yet another new launch from them. But to be honest with you, it's not just Kringle, it's Homeworks, it's Bath & Body Works, it's probably Goose Creek. I mean, there's all the candle brands right now, they are preparing to launch their spring scents. Even though for some of you, spring is still about two months away. Um, we're getting some spring weather here in Arizona, but uh, they're just, they're excited to launch the new. That's kind of how the seasons go, right? The, the, the home fragrance community is always like two to three months ahead of the next season. And so right now we are just being bombarded with, with launches every week. The truth of the matter is I cannot afford to purchase every new launch that comes out. We all know that when a candle is first launched, they're usually at full price. Or if there's a sale, we know that there's always going to be a better sale, right? Right? We know this, right? So if you know that there's going to be a better sale, put it on a wish list. Yes, I know that there's FOMO, um, but here's the second reason why having a wish list helps out. When I put a candle on my wish list and I'm starting to feel that FOMO, it forces me to then look at the fragrance notes that of that candle that are on my wish list and then compare them to other candles that I currently have in my collection. So for example, the other day I went into Bath and Body Works and um, there's a candle actually on here that was on my wish list, Amalfi Lemon. But when I went in this into the store, I, sn I smelled it and I was like, okay, I really, really love lemon scents. I want another one. I love to pair it with blueberry. I love to do all those things. But then when I came home, I was like, you know what, Katie, you've already got some lemon scents. You've got a blueberry lemonade fragrance. You still have farm stand lemonade from Bath and Body Works last year. You still have uh, rosemary lemon, which is a uh, different fragrance. You know, it's, it's a little more herbal, but still it's in the lemon family. You have, um, oh, and then Kringle released their Easter collection and there was a lemon sugar marshmallow. So even though the Amalfi lemon is more of like an astringent fresh lemon, I thought, you know what? I have plenty of lemon in my in my collection right now. I don't need more. So I feel like that's one of the ways that it helps that impulse buying, it kind of cuts down on that FOMO, is that you then have the time to compare the fragrance notes to other candles that you currently have in your collection. And then finally for me, kind of going back with staying on budget, for me personally, I have something that's probably a little bit of a more unique situation um, that I think a lot of content creators fall into this, is that for me, I have my monthly budget, which I've kind of stressed that enough, but 
I have to prioritize what I am purchasing, which means that when I'm showing you this list today, there's going to be some new releases in here, but you're also going to see some candles that have been around for a long time. Some of you guys have, might be familiar with. Um, personally, I cannot prioritize purchasing backups with my channel. I generally have to prioritize buying fragrances that are newer. Um, I'm always looking to see, have other people reviewed this fragrance yet? Um, is this one that would be um, good for my channel, but it also has to meet like my personal interests? Um, just pulling back the curtain a little bit. I know a lot of you guys know this, but like, just because we have a, I have a candle channel does not mean that I get a, bun, a bunch of PR. Uh, in fact, I would say most of my collection, I would say like 90 to 95% of my collection are candles that I purchased on my own. Now, some influencers do receive um, more PR than others, and that's totally fine, but I'm just kind of like trying to dispel the myth that like we all get PR and that's why we're all talking about it. No, we actually don't. <laughs> um, and so for me, unless I'm receiving something in PR, then I know that like if there's a candle that's a new release, I have to factor in, is this something that I think I'll like? Is this something that I think my um, followers or subscribers want to see? Is this something that um, is not being talked about widely already? Is it something that somebody would type into a search engine and be like, oh, my, my video would come up. There's so many things that go into that. Um, and just even like pulling back another layer here, I feel like I'm like divulging. I should, I should call this like candle secrets. Um, funny thing here, you guys. So like, even I have to prioritize my spending when it comes to say like bath and body work sales versus homework sales versus Kringle sales, because here's a fun fact. Um, I personally have issues sometimes with Bath & Body Works candles. I've always been very vocal about that. Um, and their burn quality can be really good or really bad. But the truth remains that Bath & Body Works is still probably the most accessible of the candle brands and um, their name is recognizable. So guess what? When I do a Bath & Body Works video, guess what videos get the most views? Bath & Body Works. That's why you probably see a lot of candle content creators focus on them a lot. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying anybody's being shady. I'm just being honest with you, that sometimes is something that I have to factor in. So like for this month, for example, I had to factor in um, when I was purchasing the, from the Kringle launch, I had to factor in that I would, needed to leave enough money in my budget to be able to make a purchase from Bath & Body Works because I knew I know that they ha currently have a BOGO special going on. So anyways, I feel like I'm just like divulging into all sorts of craziness here, but those are the main reasons why I keep a wish list. Um, also, as a content creator, we always have the temptation of like, oh, I'm buying this for my channel when really like I just want it. So anyways, those are the reasons why I have a wish list. I, if any of those reasons uh, resonate with you, then I would suggest you create a wish list as well. Um, but yes, it has probably been one of the most effective tools so far. I've been doing this for the last couple of months and um, it has really, really curbed my desire for impulse spending. I will touch on this a little bit more in my video on Wednesday when I talk about the new um, Kringle Three Wicks that are going to be launched. Um, but I will touch on the feeling of FOMO and, and just being patient a little bit more in that video. Um, but yeah, let's not waste any more time on all of these reasons. Let's get into the meat of this video because I know that's what you're really here for. So let's go ahead and talk about the candles that are currently on my wish list. I will make sure that I pop up a picture of what candles I'm talking about up above here. I actually don't have all of the fragrance notes listed here, but I will make sure again that I have them listed in the description box down below. All right, so we are going to go ahead and start off with Kringle and Country Candle here. Um, same brand. I feel like Country is kind of like a subsidiary, but it's the same thing. Um, all right, so a couple of candles that are currently on my wish list. So why don't we go ahead and start off with the most recent Easter launch that just happened last week. Um, I did purchase three candles from that launch. Uh, spoiler alert, you'll see this at my end of the month like um, collective candle haul video. I did end up purchasing, uh, what did I purchase? I purchased, <laughs> I had it in my head here, carrot cake, I did end up getting lemon sugar marshmallow, which Mick Kittred said will be restocked, so not to fear. And then I also purchased the Jelly Bean Jubilee. So I purchased three candles in there. Um, the one that I was still interested in, but again, made it to the wish list is Easter Brunch. And the reason that I put it on the wish list was because I wanted to wait for some reviews on it. Um, there was like a butter note in there and I kind of wanted to hear, is this candle more like, 
I don't know. I, I just, I wanted to hear some reviews on it because sometimes Kringle's vanilla buttery type of fragrances can come off kind of like a burned note to me. Um, so anyways, I just thought, nope, you know what? I'm not going to pay full price for that right now, especially because that wasn't available in daylights or melts. Um, I thought, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and wait on that. There are two other candles that are currently in the, um, the limited edition country candle release, which they are limited edition, but again, stay tuned for Wednesday's video. I'll touch on that a little bit more. Um, I am very interested in Caribbean beach. It sounds like a fruity cocktail type of drink. Um, that one really appeals to me. Now the summertime, I love like coconut fruity, um, cocktail type of drinks. Coconut and banana typically are like dominant for me in the summertime. So that's a fragrance that is on my wish list, but it's also one that currently it's still full price. And um, I also just don't really feel the need to purchase a lot of summer fragrances right now because I am working through my uh, spring collection. Again, we're just, we're not even technically into spring yet. So it's not in the budget right now for me to prioritize purchasing summer fragrances right now. Another candle that is from the Country Candle Limited Edition that I'm interested in is Pink Citrus. That one, of course, has some grapefruit notes in there. It has some orange, um, kind of a sweet type of citrus fragrance. So again, I'm going to be waiting for some more reviews on that. I've seen a couple of reviews come up. Um, some of them have just been kind of like on cold sniff. Um, but that one does appeal to me. But then again, the reason that I didn't jump on purchasing that is because I do have quite a few other citrus fragrances in my collection right now. I have Valencia Orange from Homeworks. I'll do a review on that one pretty soon for you guys. I do have, um, what am I currently burning? I'm burning a Bath and Body Works one. I think it's the Sweet Orange and Agave right now. I'm burning that. Um, and again, I have Rosemary Lemon. So I have a couple of citrus fragrances that I know I love or that I am currently enjoying. So I feel like that is one that can wait Wait. All right. Another candle that the reason why um, I would say that these candles are all ones that they are either just not quite ready for the season or they um, I'm just waiting for them to be on a really good sale because these are all candles that I have purchased in the past from Kringle and I have loved them, but they are not currently in my collection. So the first one that the minute I see a really good sale on this that I'm going to purchase is Fresh Lilac. I have made no secret that this is probably my favorite floral scent, um, probably floral scent all around, but this is my favorite floral from Kringle. I believe that their Fresh Lilac fragrance is the most authentic, non-headache inducing. There's no powdery note. I personally detect a little bit of a powdery note in Bath and Body Works version as well as Yankees version. Um, Yankees is called Lilac Blossoms. And um, I think is it fresh cut lilacs at Bath and Body Works? Regardless, Kringle's version to my nose is the most authentic. I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping that they will run a spring sale soon. So that way I can purchase another one of those. Um, and then these other four are more summer fragrances. So like I said, I'm not prioritizing buying summer fragrances just yet, but if I see a really good sale, particularly on, um, I know three of these are in three wick formats and that honestly is my favorite format from Kringle at the moment. Um, but one of these I know is not. So the one that is only offered in the two wick tumblers is sea salt and tonka i had that last year and oh my word you guys it's almost like um it's a very fresh uh, not aquatic scent that's not really how i would describe it it's um it, you get that sea salt vibe in there it's more spa like beach without you necessarily feeling like you're smelling like lavender or eucalyptus or like the notes that we generally think of it's just very clean yet beachy um, and i loved that fragrance last year and then the other candles that are available in three wicks that i want to purchase another one is juicy delight that was the repackaged version of what was originally country's watermelon pops. It smells like jo uh, Jolly Rancher uh, watermelon, like the watermelon Jolly Ranchers. There we go. Um, that is a lovely, lovely fragrance. And then another candle that I really like from them is Lime Lullaby. Again, it was the soy version of um, the country, what was it, pineapple? No, apple, lime, and cilantro, something like that. Uh, apple, lime, and cilantro. I think that's the original fragrance that it was, but that is like a very clean, 
fragrance. Um, my family really love that one. I got a lot of compliments on that. So that's another fragrance that I would like to add back into my collection. I feel like I burn that one usually late spring, like in the month of May when I'm getting ready to, to um, transition out of spring scents into more summery vibes. Remember you guys, I live in Arizona. So we actually start experiencing spring-like weather right now. And by the time we hit mid-May, we're starting to feel more summer temperatures. And then the last fragrance in a three wick that I want to repurchase from Kringle is Sea Breeze. That was part of their 2023 uh, spring and summer collection. Love that fragrance. Just a beautiful coconut fragrance. I really enjoyed pairing that with Ocean Tide, which kind of is more of like a banana type of scent, but it's very, very versatile. I could also see myself burning that with um, the Vacation What's the scent? It's Pool Boy. Uh, well, well tipped Pool Boy. Those two fragrances together, I think, would just give me ideal summer swimming pool uh, type of vibes. So that is what is on my list from Kringle Candle. Why don't we go ahead and talk about some Bath and Body Works candles? And to be honest with you, again. By the time this video goes up, I may have purchased a couple of these candles. I am still contemplating whether or not I'm going to shop from the BOGO sale that is currently going on. I believe that's going on through Wednesday, Valentine's Day. Um, I do have a 20% coupon still available. So I don't know. I don't know yet if I'm going to shop. Um, I plan to possibly go in store sometime this week uh, before that sale is over and sniff some, sniff around and see if there's anything worth purchasing. So there's a couple of candles here that are new to me that have intrigued me. One of them, I've smelled it in store a few times um, and I like it, but I'm not sure if it's worth purchasing. It is Vanilla Coconut Surf. Now to me on Cold Sniff, that candle smells very, very similar to last year's. I want to say it was Santorini Coast. Um, I loved the label on it or like the packaging was really nice. I liked it more than this Vanilla Coconut Surf, but the, the, it's like a creamy coconut type of fragrance. Um, I don't know though. I don't know if, I, if, I, if it's worth repurchasing because like I said, I had that Santorini Coast last year and I liked it, but I feel like if I've already had something similar to that in my collection and it wasn't like, oh, I love this and I need backups and backups and backups, that again, I have to prioritize, do I wanna purchase that or do I need to save it for something new? Another fragrance that is new to me, and it's not one that I've really seen a whole lot of people talking about, but it's intrigued me when I've gone in and smelled it in store, is Blue Verbena and Lime. That one has caught my eye. Now I do have another Kringle candle in my collection. It's one of the reserve scents that actually it was sent to me in PR last year, but it got to me a little bit later than the time that I normally would have burned it, and that is Lime Splash. So I feel like this one, uh, this one I actually might purchase, the Blue Verbena and Lime, because I feel like it might complement that other fragrance. Again, I'm always looking for candles that will complement uh, candles that are already in my collection. And then let's see, there's two other ones. Um, Coconut Pina Colada, this is a new release or it's being marketed as a new release. I am not the biggest like Bath and Body Works follower, so I'm sure some of you could probably chime in below and say, oh, that's a repackage of whatever fragrance. Um, but that one has intrigued me. I love me a good Pina Colada type of fragrance in the summertime. So that one has caught my eye. Sunset in Maui, I was just looking at the fragrance notes on there earlier today, and that one is like, mm, I think I want to smell that in store. I do know that the coconut pina colada had a rum note in it, and sometimes I'm not so sure of how Bath and Body Works does boozy fragrances. I know like their um, like their whiskey fragrances, I do not like at all. Like, mm -mm, does not come off well to me, but I do generally like a boozy fragrance. I feel like um, Kringle and Hallmarks have done some boozy fragrances really well, but for whatever reason, I don't like Bath and Body Works ones. They come off a little bit too, like, artificial to me. There's something off on it. Um, and then here's one that I know for sure I will be picking up when it does come into stock. Um, sweet carrot cake. I am waiting for that one to get back into the stores because I loved that fragrance last year. And I also want to compare Bath and Body Works version with the Kringle version or the country candle version that should be on my doorstep later on this week. And then of course, I want to prioritize purchasing a backup of pink lavender and espresso. One of my favorite fragrances from 2023. I was so excited to see it come back in 2024. I've already started burning one, but again, I have a lot of candles in my collection. I'm prioritizing burning things for review. So I haven't gotten that many burns on it, um, but it is a candle that I would like to have at least one more of them in my collection before the season is over. 
Why don't we go ahead now and move on to homework, some candles that are currently in my collection, or not currently in my collection. I've had them in my collection in the past. I would like to purchase them again, um, but again, priorities here. So the first one that's on here was one of the candles that was in my top 10 gourmands video um, earlier this month, and that is Limoncello Cupcake. Now, fun fact, I actually came across a couple of these in my local home goods last week. And I thought, oh, I want another one, I want another one. And yet I didn't purchase it and here's why. The reason I didn't purchase it was because right next to it was um, white tea leaf, which I don't know if that's an entirely new fragrance to Hallmarks, but it's one that I have not tried before. It's not one that I'm seeing a lot of people talking about, um, but I do know that it is it's newer to the Hallmarks website. It's only been on there for maybe like a month and a half. And so I thought, mm, I like the way, I, I like how it smells. It's a very nice spring fragrance. Um, I can review it for my channel. And so I gave priority to purchasing that candle instead of the Limoncello Cupcake. Also for the Limoncello Cupcake, like I just said, I already have some lemon fragrances in my collection. And um, one of the ones that's actually from Kringle that I'm burning right now that's similar, it's not the same, but I'm getting the similar type of effect is, um, what's it called? Christmas Cake Pops, which to me, don't be fooled if you happen to see that one on the Kringle website. That candle is definitely more of a spring or summer fragrance. It's like a lemon cupcake type of scent. A little more vanilla in there than Limoncello Cupcake, but it's a beautiful fragrance. Um, and so I decided, nope, I don't need Limoncello Cupcake right now. Another candle, like I said, that is currently in my collection, and um, I think that I want one more of them just in case it never comes back, is Valencia Orange. I will be doing a dedicated review on that. I actually bought that in a duo last year from QVC, so the one that's currently in my collection is from last year's QVC duo, but I love that fragrance. It is the same bright, juicy orange scent that is in, um, if you loved Orange Creamsicle from Hallmarks, you will love Valencia Orange because the whatever oils they're using for that orange accord is the same. I would just say that Orange, orange Creamsicle had a little bit more vanilla creaminess in the background, whereas this is just that bright, vibrant orange fragrance, um, but it's lovely. I absolutely love it. All right, a couple of new fragrances from Homeworks that have caught my eye. One is Coral Poppy. Now this is over on the QVC website. Um, first off, the packaging on it is absolutely stunning. And again, I'm not really a floral lover, but something about the fragrance notes in this really appeals to me. So I'm hoping for a good sale over on QVC. I, I think last I checked, it was a duo on sale for $45. But again, I'm trying to be intentional about how many candles I'm currently bringing into my collection. And I'm trying to avoid QVC duos. So I'm hoping to run across this one maybe in my local discount retailers, or I'm hoping that eventually it will come to the Slack Ken & Co website. I haven't seen any information yet about what is, um, or no, let me back up here. I haven't seen any information yet about that particular candle coming to Slatkin & Co. I do know of a couple of other fragrances that um, we haven't been given permission yet to say that they're coming to Slatkin & Co. Um, but yeah, that one's on my wish list, uh, but I only want to purchase one. So that's kind of where, where I'm at on that. Another fragrance that just released in the Garden Party collection is Blood Orange and Sage Gimlet. I just heard Melanie say that it's a really nice fragrance. Um, but again, I want to smell it in store and there really just hasn't been that great of a homework sale for me to go ahead and take a chance on purchasing it yet, but that one does intrigue me. Again, you guys are gonna see a theme here. Springtime, I love my citrus. I love orange, lemon, herbal, um, fresh. I do like some florals. So um, those are the things that are catching my eye right now. And then another candle that I feel like is more summertime appropriate, and maybe the reason why I'm intrigued with this, well, I'm gonna tell you honestly, the reason that I'm intrigued by this candle is because I think in my head, I'm associating it, even though the fragrance notes are not the same, I'm associating it with the Way St. Bart's Body Cream, which by the way, if you wanna smell like fancy rich lady getting on her yacht, that's the fragrance that you want. Oh my goodness, so good. But the other candle that has intrigued me is St. Bart's. Again, that is currently available over on QVC. And I am waiting for that one to make it to the Slack & Co website. So that way I don't have to purchase it in a duo. But honestly, the fragrance notes on that one, I'm really hoping that I can possibly come across it in store first because the fragrance notes on that make me a little bit nervous. I don't I don't know, I've read them and I'm like, mm, what if it's too beachy or what if it's not 
in my fragrance profile. So that's sometimes like the downside of ordering from QVC is that I could get a duo and I don't want a duo. But then the plus side is that if I don't like the fragrance, then I can always return it. I don't know. Um, my stores, for whatever reason, don't seem to get a huge amount of stock. I'm always, always really envious when I see on the Hallmarks uh, Facebook group that a lot of you guys come across these like hordes and hordes of Hallmarks candles. I'm like, mine is always like bare bones. I think on the West, on the West Coast, they just give us the dribs and drabs. But um, yeah, it, it just is what it is. So, and then the last candle that is currently on my wish list is not from any one of these brands. This is actually from the brand Vacation. Now, I did do a video last month on their trio set, but one of the candles that I have not purchased from their from them is their classic vacation candle. So it's supposed to be the same fragrance as their sunscreen. Um, supposedly it's very reminiscent of like 90s nostalgia um, of lycra and sunscreen and being by the pool. So I'm very intrigued to pick that one up. Like I said, I do have the Vacation Pool Boy fragrance currently in my collection and I really, really like that one. So I'm intrigued to get my hands on that one. But again, I'm waiting for a good sale on that. I do know that Ulta does run usually in the springtime or I've seen them put vacation products like 30% off a couple of times a year. So again, when I, I wanted to wait until we got closer to the summertime to wait for another good sale and then purchase that. So let me know in the comment box down below if you happen to find this video helpful, if you found it encouraging. Um, are any of these candles currently on your wish list? Do you keep a wish list to help avoid impulse buying? I would be very curious to know. Uh, hit thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, that helps me in the old YouTube algorithm here, getting these videos out to be able to um, broaden our candle community. You can hear my voice is starting to go hoarse because I've been talking for a while and I need a sip of water. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave you here. YouTube should be suggesting some other content of mine here at the very end of this video, so feel free to stick around for more of it. But I, I just wanted to say, Thank you very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.